What's happening, film friends? I am David, the film junkie, and I'm bringing you a film review of Gravity. How long has it been since I've done a freaking film review? It's been like since the world's the uh, the world's end. Yeah, that's what over a month ago. <laughs> I suck. Anyways, let's not talk about how much I suck and let's get started. Gravity stars Sandra Bullock, George Clooney, and is directed by Alfonso Cuarón. Yes. Not sure exactly his uh, filmography of directingness, but uh, let's face it, he's a damn good director. And of course, Gravity is about a movie about astronauts in space, so they're trying to, um, you know, uh, do something with this satellite, do something, right? Well, it's Sandra Bullock that's trying to do something. She, uh, she's, well, she's smart, and she has something that she needed to be up there, and uh, pretty much George Clooney is a veteran astronaut. Um, who's on, well, his last spacewalk, and um, that's not really a spoiler. I know people think I'm gonna spoil this. No, you just, you find that out within like the first five minutes of the movie, which I will tell you that the opening shot is absolutely mesmerizing. Holy yet! Yes, it doesn't cut away for about 13, 14 minutes. It, it's like one continuous shot. And I was going, wow, this is pretty amazing. I mean, obviously it's easy to accomplish this because, you know, they're not really in space. You know, it's all CG, but man, it was just awesome. But anyways, so then they're working on something. You're getting, you know, they're getting uh, acquainted with our characters and everything like that. You get like a slight character development between the two. You know that Sandra Bullock, is, it's her first time being in space. You, you know that George Clooney is a veteran, so it's like, okay, we get what's going on here. And actually another well-known actor is involved in this movie, that, but you only hear his voice because he, he's part of Houston, and he's not a stranger to the whole Houston space stuff. Mr. Ed Harris, yes. I was like, wow, that is Ed Harris's voice. That's pretty awesome, you know? I mean, he does what he needs to do. He's the voice. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, they do lose communication, obviously, you know, when shit goes bad. But yeah, shit goes bad because apparently a Russian satellite got hit by a missile or something. I think, <laughs> I think that's what happens. But anyways, and then it sends debris in this crazy spiral that gets set through the Earth's orbit. And of course, heads right for them, and then shit just goes bad. What did I think of the movie? Oh my god, I thought it was fan. Fucking fantastic! Yes, FF. Everybody, FF. Because I mean, it's the visuals. The visuals is, of course, what is making this movie. And if you see it in 3D, I totally recommend it in 3D. And I am not a fan of 3D. I've said this before, but see this movie in 3D. If you're, if you have a little, if if you suffer from motion sickness on stuff, you might want to skip. You know putting on those damn 3D glasses because, yeah, there's some times where it's like spinning, but oh my god, the, the visuals, it's stunning. Just stunning. I mean, like I said, that opening shot, I mean, you just see the earth and then it just starts panning through and it's just, it's just going through and it just doesn't cut away and there's a lot of shots like that. And what I love about Alfonso Cuaron or what, whatever, how you say his last name, is he really takes a page out of Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. I love that movie too. I even read the book and everything and I just, you know, space obviously is quiet. You know, it's no sound, there's no oxygen, there's no nothing. They even say that in the beginning of the movie, the little prologue. Um, and holy crap, I mean, there's sometimes where, of course, I got the music and shit's going on and it just, it gets silent. And then sometimes when, you know, like that opening shot where it's just quiet and calm and ah. Loved it. I loved that. It was, it was so awesome. And then the details that they went with these visual effects, even when, uh, she's crying in zero G, you know, when she's like in one of the little, when she's in like the uh, space, uh, the little pot or whatnot, and she's, you know, of course she's, you know, oh, it's her first time in space and shit's going bad. Oh, God, I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna cry. I'd cry. I'd freaking, yeah. But yeah, even the tears just bloop, and then they, oh man, I mean, details. I love it when filmmakers make it seem like the camera is actually there because. Like when shit just hits the camera and you see it, I mean, you, you see, that happens in this movie, and of course it's 3D. And what's awesome about this movie too, with those long, crazy shots, sometimes it'll go like right to like the helmet of like Sandra Bullock or something, and then it'll just turn around, and then you're you're in the helmet, you're seeing what she's seeing. Freaking awesome! I mean, wow! I mean, this is you don't just like watch this survival story in space; you are in it. You freaking, sometimes my stomach was going, oh, whoa, yeah. 
That tickled. I mean, just stunning. And then, you know, both the actors, George Clooney and Sandra Bullock, do a fantastic job. George Clooney definitely, George Clooney's his veteran astronaut role. I mean, he tries to, obviously, since he's a veteran astronaut and, you know, shit's going bad, um, he's trying to keep Sandra Bullock calm, so, you know, he, he, bring, he keeps the humor going and everything like that. And, of course, being the first time she's in space, she's very panicky. She does make some orgasm noises a lot, which is not that bad because... I still think Sandra Bullock's hot, and even in this movie she's pretty damn hot when she gets out of the space suit and she's in a tank top and short, short, tight shorts that are pretty good. And I guess my only gripe about the movie is, is like they were really trying to put as much character development as possible. I mean, with a movie like this, you don't really need it because it's like, you know, we're just here to see what happens, you know? We don't really need a backstory. I kind of just wish they had Sandra Bullock's character is just there for this reason and that's all. You didn't really need like this backstory, which she does have a pretty serious backstory that, you know, I'm not going to go into it. I won't spoil it for you guys, but yeah. They really try a lot with that, you know, and I'm just like, yeah, they could have just not did that, but it doesn't ruin the movie whatsoever. She still does a fantastic job. So does George Clooney. The visuals are stunning. See it in 3D. I highly recommend it. I mean, it will make you not want to be an astronaut. I mean, I didn't want to be an astronaut before. I really don't want to be an astronaut now because space, space is a fucking asshole. So yes, guys, I highly recommend seeing this movie. And if you have seen it, let me know what you think down below in the balls here. What did you think of the movie? Did, you, did it blow your mind? Did you see it in 3D? Let me know down below. Also, hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, the Film Junkie, and this has been a film review of Gravity. Even though the whole movie didn't have any gravity whatsoever. It's, it's kind of weird. But whatever, I didn't make it. It was so amazing. Bye. Thank you.